All right, Shalom. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Habashai, by Hashem Kakudash. Rakat the Yahweh, Rakat the Abushai, Rakat the Yahweh, Rakat the Abushai. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai been the name of his beloved Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's their true names. And the Lashwan Kodash, the ancient Hebrew, the only names you call upon for salvation if you're an Israelite. The Israelites being so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans today, as well as the Israelite foreigners that have taken on the appearance of the heathen. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and the elders of Great Millstone. And blessings and salutations to the Lord's elect. I'm back with another lesson through the Spirit and Prophet Yahweh by Shemov Shai, another spiritual lunch. And the title of this one's gonna be Take the Crooked with the Straight. Okay, take the crooked with the straight, which is a um a direct quote from the movie Fences, okay, dealing with Denzel. And um, you know, I just wanted to, you know, go into that today. Um you know, taking a crooked with the straight, all right, because in this in this truth, not only in this truth, but in life in general, all right, you're gonna have your ups and downs, all right, you're gonna have your good days and your bad days, man. Okay, and you gotta keep a level head uh through it all. All right, you gotta trust in your how about your mouth shy through it all. Okay? So let's start with um the definition of this. Okay, it says what does it mean to take the crooked with the straights? It says this phrase means that in life you have to accept misfortune just as much as you ex accept good fortune. Okay? So you have to accept the bad just as you just as well as you take the the good. Okay? And we understand in this truth that you know um the scriptures speak of us going through the straight gate, the scriptures speak of us going through the fire. Okay? Uh you go to uh second edges the seventh chapter it speaks of us going through the danger set before it. So we know that we're on the, um, you know, the path, uh, uh, the road less traveled, you could say. Okay, the straight gate, straight gate, a position of difficulty. So, you know, we're going to have a bunch of bad days, man. <laughs> you know, just being in this place, America, man, which America means bitter. You know, you, 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 you're going to be vexed. You know, you're gonna things are gonna annoy you. You're gonna be irritated uh, more than you, you know, more than your good days, man, uh, so to speak. Okay, but you gotta know how to take those bad days. You gotta know how to take uh, uh, the misfortune. You know, you gotta know how to take it, man. Okay, so once again, in life, you have to accept the misfortune just as much as you accept the good fortune. Okay, and that's scriptural. Okay. All right, this is Job 2 and 9. It says, Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thy integrity? Curse the heavenly father and die. And this is, uh, you know, going back to where Job was being tried, okay, on, on a crucial level, okay? The heavenly father and, and Satan, you know, you could say I had a bet, you know, and, uh, you know, certain trials were placed upon Job, okay? And uh, Satan hopped on his woman to say to, to say this. Then said his wife unto him, "Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse the Most High and die." Okay, and uh, that's ultimately Satan's job is to get you, uh, to make you disenchanted, to make you lose hope and faith in Yahweh Bashem Shai, man. You know, to where you could blame the Lord for all of your troubles. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Satan wants you to look at these things. Uh, through the lens of the, of the flesh and not the spirit. It says, Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse the most high and die. Here's the point. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish uh, women speaketh. Right? So that's a, a foolish thought, you know, to curse the most high and die and, and to, uh, you know, uh, uh, to no longer hold on to your integrity. So that's, that's That's foolish. It says, but he said unto her, thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of the Heavenly Father? And shall we not receive evil? You see? And that's balance, man. The scriptures speak of uh, our power being balance. Okay? What's that? Uh, Proverbs. Proverbs 11 and 1. It says, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. 
but a just weight is his delight. So a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. So we're going to have good and we're going to have uh, the evil, you know? <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, where was I at? Job. Okay. So we're going to have we're going to have good and evil from Yahweh by Shemel side. But you can't get offended when the evil comes. You got you got to trust in the Lord. Okay? The scripture said that the Lord would not the Lord is faithful. He will not tempt you above what you are able, but with the temptation he'll make a way for you to escape so that you're able to to able to uh, to to bear it, to endure it. Okay? So Yahweh by Shemel side is uh fair with his chastisement, you know? This is uh, Job 2 and 10 again. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High? And shall we, we, we not receive evil? And that's the proper mindset, man. You're going to have your ups and downs. All right? Uh, Paul spoke of that. Um, I know how to both be abased and abound. You know? You're going to be abased in this thing, and you're going to be abound in this thing. But the scripture say what? Be patient when thou art brought to a, your lowest state. Uh, Romans 12 and 12 uh, Be patient in tribulation Okay And we're in the time of our tribulation We're in a time of being in a lower state Okay So you're really going to have more bad days Than you have good days man Okay It says what Shall we receive good at the hand of the most high And shall we not receive evil And all this did not Job sin with his lips Right And we got to beware of what we speak When we are going through things Okay All right, so let's read the NLT of this. It says, but Job replied, you talk like a foolish woman. Should we, should we accept only good things from the, from the hand of the Most High and uh, never accept and uh, never anything bad? So in all this, Job said nothing wrong. Okay, so we got we to gotta accept both from the Lord. You know, when you up and you abounding, you ain't complaining. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you got to understand the, the, you know, uh, when the evil comes, you know, you got to uh, take it well as well. Okay. <clears throat> but, you know, it's all easier said than done. But, you know, you grow accustomed to catching hell. You grow accustomed to the fire. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you grow and mature in the faith. And you understand. And, you, you know, you, you really understand. Why the Lord has us going through this fire. Okay. It's beautiful, really. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 14. It says, In the day of prosperity, be joyful. But in the day of adversity, consider. The Most High have also set the one over against the other to the end that man, man should find nothing after him. All right. Let's read the NLT. It says, Enjoy prosperity while you can't, right? When you up, when you abound it, you know, everything's good, you know? But when hard times strike, which is going to strike, the scriptures say that we're appointed unto uh, afflictions, okay? It's going to strike. But when hard times strike, realize that both come from the Most High, okay? Remember that nothing is certain in this life. So so both come from Yahweh by Shema Shai, man, okay? Uh, both prosperity and hard times. Okay, both come from Yahweh by Shema outside, the good and the evil, man. Okay, so <clears throat> take the crooked with the straights, man. You know, that's how we got to deal. You got to remain neutral through it all, man. Trusting in Yahweh by Shema outside through it all. The scriptures say, trust in the Lord at all times, man. And the scriptures say, we could, we could, uh, do all things through your house shall strengthen us, man. You know, so quick lesson in the spirit. Take the crooked with the straights, those who are edifying, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Al Shah, Bashim Kakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.